Once upon a time, in a bustling city nestled by the sea, there resided a wealthy man with a heart full of love for his family. He was blessed with three daughters and three sons, each possessing unique qualities that set them apart. The eldest daughter was named Beauty, a name that befitted her extraordinary appearance. Her striking beauty radiated like the sun, but what set her apart was her kind and amiable nature. Beauty's cascading red hair complemented her warm personality, making her the joy of her family. The other two daughters, Rosalind and Hortensia, had names that hinted at a blooming charm, but their hearts didn't match their namesakes. Unlike Beauty, they were less inclined towards kindness and had an affinity for a carefree and frivolous lifestyle. Their aspirations were solely directed towards finding wealthy husbands, and they harbored resentment towards Beauty due to her inherent beauty. Beauty's father, a prominent merchant, had amassed riches from his maritime ventures. Yet, fate can be unpredictable, and one day, his fortune took a turn for the worse. His ship was lost at sea, taking with it his wealth and security. The merchant approached his children with a heavy heart, confessing, My dear children, our circumstances have changed. The wealth is gone, and we must adapt to a more modest life. We shall leave this grand abode and relocate to the countryside. The announcement was met with varied reactions. Rosalind and Hortensia wailed in despair at the thought of a life devoid of opulence. Their selfishness overshadowed their familial bonds, and their tears were those of entitlement and privilege lost. The three brothers, however, understood the gravity of the situation. With an air of acceptance, they nodded solemnly, ready to embrace their new reality. It's time for us to work, Beauty's father declared, voicing the need to rebuild their lives from the ground up. Work, cried Rosalind and Hortensia in unison. We refuse to work, and we absolutely cannot bear living in such a rustic setting. They clung to their former luxuries, oblivious to the lessons hardship could teach. Amidst the turmoil, Beauty's gentle voice cut through the chaos. Let us not weep, dear sisters. Even without wealth, we can find joy in hard work and simplicity. Her optimistic outlook provided a glimmer of hope, an alternative perspective that resonated deeply with her brothers. With their possessions pared down to essentials, the family retreated to a quaint country dwelling. The new chapter of their lives began, and Beauty embraced her role with vigor. Each morning, she would rise at the break of dawn to clean and cook for her family. Her days were filled with chores, but her spirit remained unwavering. The three brothers engaged in the toils of the countryside, tending to fields and livestock. Their hands, once accustomed to the comfort of affluence, now embraced the honest labor that life demanded. However, Rosalind and Hortensia remained resolute in their refusal to adapt. They idled away their days, lamenting their unfortunate fate. Oblivious to the growth that challenges bring, they perpetuated their cycle of entitlement. As time unfurled, beauty's light began to shine even brighter. One day, as the sun painted the sky with hues of orange and gold, Beauty's father approached her with tearful eyes. My dear, you have shown us that happiness can thrive beyond material wealth. You've taught us the true value of hard work, resilience, and the beauty of a kind heart. It taught that true beauty lies not just in outward appearances, but in the kindness of the heart and the willingness to adapt to life's changing tides.